Welcome back to Primetime Sports. Reno ended their four-match winless streak in the Red Star Premier League with a 3-0 win over Pormo United on Sunday at Froome. Pormo United were sailing and looked invincible, but the wheels seemed to have fallen off the wagon with two defeats in their last outings. After losing to UWI on a last-minute goal last Wednesday, they ran into Reno, who were finding winnings harder to come by. But if you allow Craig Foster to score, then Reno are in business, and the business they were in after 33 minutes. Reno went further ahead in the 53rd minute when Fancy Hugh Stewart showed there is more to the club than Foster. And Reno completed the win on the stroke of half time, a FIBA Chambers adding a third for good sake. Three points is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a must at home, and that's what we aim for. We always aim for three points at home. But I have to. I have to give credence to the team. Um, I think coming off a heavy defeat, coming off a heavy defeat from Arnett Garden, I think the team showed me that they have character, they, they can bounce back at any time and play any game. I'm very disappointed with the loss, especially um, the second goal was um, very early after we, we, we get a break at the half and talk about um, how we're going to start the second half. I'm very disappointed. But nevertheless, you have a a quick turnaround on Wednesday against Boystown. After recording their first win in midweek with a 2-1 victory over Sandal South Coast, Waterhouse were brought back to earth by Tivoli Gardens at Jewsland. It took an own goal from Ken Orlum then to give Waterhouse a third-minute lead. They held it until the 83rd minute before running out of steam, Colorado Murray pulling Tivoli level. And four minutes into stoppage time, the Jewsland faithfuls were back to the disappointment zone as Murray handed Tivoli maximum points. This was unfortunate for us. Our three change we made was forced change. Nothing to, to really give us a tactical approach in terms of how we go forward in the offensive. But nevertheless, as we said, the indiscipline is something that we need to take in consideration of. But it's a tough one. I have to give credit to this Tivoli team. They never stop played. For us, I think we stopped playing too early. You know, we make some change that sit back on the back line. We, we never get nothing going on for us. But I think the concentration for us lapsed in the last. And to lose in a game like this, it, it's really tough. Um, a good three points. Um, we played against a Waterhouse team who um, gave us a good challenge in the, the first half. Um, we managed to concede a goal by virtue of a dead ball situation. You know, um, we have been doing well defensively. Offensively over the last three, four games, we have been created several opportunities, but failed to capitalize. And Colorado, Murray get, got it right um, um, tonight. You know, we brought him on, you know, with, 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 with good sense that he will, he, he will kick the ball in the back of the net. Um, at half time, um, we, we changed the formation. You know, we moved from a, a, a 3 5 2 formation um, to a 4 4 2. And I thought that that was one of the, um, the a good change that, that brought us back in the game. Elsewhere on Sunday, Humber Lion crushed the Sandal South Coast 4-0 with a double from Woolery Wolf. Harborview beat UWI 1-0 through a Michael Luther's 14th-minute goal, while Boystown came from behind to share the points with Cavalier.